Concho Valley residents may have noticed the unusual height of weeds and grass along state roadways. I've been here my entire life and I can't remember ever seeing it that long. TechStop puts the mowing contracts out a year in advance and this year of course we had no idea we were going to have the unprecedented rainfall that we've had and so we have just seen tremendous growth of the weeds in the roadside and with the additional rain that we've had this spring it's been hard to get the mowers to get out because the rights of way have been extremely wet. Trash has been picked up all along the highway in preparation for the lawn mowing that will cut down the grass which as you can see in some places has grown up to over five feet tall. Usually, TxDOT has the roadways mowed twice a year, once in spring and again after the first freeze and fall. Not only are the weeds an eyesore, but they also pose a safety hazard. TxDOT has received hundreds of people calling, complaining about the tall weeds, and we couldn't agree more. I mean, it looks unsightly, and it's, it's affecting visibility. Well, it hasn't affected our business at all. It just really it blocks when you're trying to drive. It just blocks and you can't see, which is very dangerous, and it can cause an accident easily. The lawnmowers have been hard at work in Tom Green County, and residents already notice the difference. We actually have had a people call in and say, hey, I see that you're out there mowing. Thank you. It looks a whole lot better, and that's always nice to hear. Mowing in the 15-county district should be completely finished within a matter of weeks. Well, I think any time that we can cut the weeds and get the litter off the roads, it makes uh, visitors feel better as they come into town and make residents feel prouder about their community, and it just makes the, the whole city look better. Elizabeth Olveda, KSAN. San Angelo's News Channel.